Welcome to Live Doc, your online Doc Yomi Shear. Shalom, welcome back to today's Daf, which is Psachim Samach. We are at the Mishnah on the bottom of Nuntesa, on Bay's nine lines from the bottom. We know that generally speaking, a carbon has to be brought Lishmoi. The intent has to be for the sake of this specific carbon. But if a person should bring a carbon, a coin will be makrivit shaloy lishmoi. So, for instance, during one of the four primary avoides, which is shchita, the kabbalas hadam, the hilochais hadam, to the mizbeach, or the zrika, if he should have a shaloy lishmoi intent, he says to himself, "Well, instead of uh, doing an oila, I actually am intending on doing a shlomim." The luck is that the carbon is still is still kosher. But the owner was not mekhaim, his chayva. There is some exception to this rule, which is Pesach and Chatas. Over there, if it's Shaloy Lishmoy, if the Kohen will do the Shechita, or the Kabbalah, or the Halacha, or the Zrika, with the intention to make a Shlomim, instead of a Chatas, instead of a Chatas, or instead of a Pesach, then the carbon is actually possible. Says the Mishnah, if the shechita on this Pesach was performed so instead of it being done the same Pesach, he expressed his intention that he's trying to make a shlom here. The kibel, or if this applied to the kabbalah sadam when he received the dam in a kli, or if this happened during the halacha. When he was walking with the dam towards the mizbeach, vizorak, or when he applied the dam on the mizbeach, shaloy lishmoy. If either one of these avoides will perform shaloy lishmoy, the Mishnah will tell us that the pesach is possible. So this is the ratio of the Mishnah. The Mishnah proceeds to the sefer, oy lishmoy, shaloy lishmoy. Or he had two kavanos. One machshava was lishmoy, and the other one shaloy lishmoy. They want to explain exactly what this means. Was it? a combined intent in the same avoid or two separate avoiders one lishmoy one shaloy lishmoy we'll discuss or shaloy lishmoy or lishmoy or initially it was shaloy lishmoy and then he switched over lishmoy lishem de Pesach in either one of these cases puzzle the Pesach is puzzle explains the Mishnah Ketzad lishmoy 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 what's the example of initiating lishmoy and then reverting over to shaloy lishmoy says the Mishnah lishem Pesach so he began with a proper machshava, and then he transited over to Ulushem Shlomim. So first it was Lishmoy, then Shaloy Lishmoy. What is an example of Shaloy Lishmoy? Lishmoy, Lishem Shlomim, Lishem Pesach. Initially he had Shlomim in mind, and then he reverted over to Pesach. So Shaloy Lishmoy, Lishmoy. In either one of these cases, the Pesach is possible. Let's see Rashi. It's about 19, 20 lines from the bottom. Rashi says, Masnisen, HaPesach sheshochte shlo lishmoy, l'shem shlomim. That was his intent, to to make a shlomim. Oy kibel, oy holach, oy zorach shlo lishmoy. Explains Rashi, Shabar va'avoydes halo. Because in either one of these four avoydes, HaPesach nifsal b'machshavtan. Im l'fsoil, im l'fagel, whether it's psul or pigel, pigel means he had machshavtan to eat it beyond the prescribed time, or to be makrivet beyond that time. That's pigel, or psul is like an our Mishnah Shaloy Lishmoy. So pertaining to pigel or psul, this applies to any one of these four primary avoiders. Could you all have a shmai to come this vach? Oy Lishmoy, Lishmoy, Lishmoy. So you had a mixed machshava, Lishmoy, and then Shaloy Lishmoy. The Gemara will explain, Marma Farish, even machshava Savaita Achas Kama. Are we speaking that they're both within the same avoider? Even machshava Shte avoiders. Or perhaps we're speaking about two separate avoiders. Kigoy, for instance, Kibbal the Shmai, the Kabbalah was the Shmai, Vizarak Shlai the Shmai, the Gemara will explain. In either one of these cases, says Rashi, Puzzle, Tichsiv, Zevach Pesachu, who indicates that, Shetesh Zvichasi Lushem Pesach, the Shrit has to be Lushem Pesach, to produce a Pesach, Uksiv Hu, the word Hu is coming to be a might, Lemuti Nishcha Shlai the Shmai, if he did a Shlai the the Pesach is possible. Continues the Gemara. Boy Rav Papa. Rav Papa asked the question. So we're referring to the second part of the Mishnah. We had that mixed machshava. Lishmoi v'shlo lishmoi. What are we speaking about? Bavoy da'achasnan. 
were they both there during the same Avoidah? So for instance, he was Shaykhet with both Kavanis. First a Shmoy and then a Shlag Shmoy. Or was it applied to two separate Avoidahs? Shechita was Lashmoy and Zerika was Shlag Lashmoy. What is the difference? Explains the Gemara. Avoida Achasnan is in reference to the same Avoida. Rabbi Yaisi. I'm following Shechita as Rabbi Yaisi. The Omar. Af the Gemara Dvorov Odom Nitfas. Rashi explains that there's a Machlegit between a mayor who says that when we have two Machshavis or things that are contradictory, he expressed two things which are steered to one another. Rabbi Yaisi says, Tfois Lashen Rishen. Follow the first thing. Ignore the second part. Rabbi Yaisi says, no. Af Big mar dvor of Adam Litfas. A person is committed and held accountable for everything that he said, even the ending, not only the first part of his expression, but everything must be reckoned with. So pertaining to us, we have one avoida. He did a shechita with two machshavis, one lishmoi and then shalom lishmoi. It's really a contradiction in terms. You can't have both. It's either lishem pesach or lishem shlamim. So according to Rambam, tefayis lishem rishon. We follow the first expression. So in this case, when it was Lishmoy and then followed with Lishmoy, the Pesach is kosher. Because we only focus on the first part of his expression, Lishmoy. Whereas according to Rabbi Yaisi, everything must be taken into account. And therefore, since he followed with Shaloy Lishmoy, this Pesach is possible. So is that the case now, Mishnah? Both happened during the same Avoidah. And the Mishnah that says possible, that's because we're following Rabbi Yaisi, that everything must be taken into account. They are married because according to our mayor, he says, take the first part and ignore the second part. We have a contradiction in terms. So according to our mayor, Lishma and Shlo would be kosher because we just take the first part, the first expression of Lishma, and we ignore the second part. That's one side of the equation. When the mission speaks about Lishma and Shlo we're speaking about when they both occurred during the same avoid. So it's a contradiction in terms. The mission says, puzzle. Apparently, we found Rabbi Yasi, who takes everything into account. This is what he had in mind. This is what he wanted to say. You can't say it all at once. You have to say it one word at a time. But he really wanted to say everything. Lishmai and Shalishmai. So everything carries weight. But it's not following Rameer, who would say that in this case, we, we just listen to the first part and ignore the second part. The first part is Lishmai. And the carbon would not be possible. That's one side of the coin. Or Dilma, or perhaps, Vishte Avoides Tanan was speaking about when these two machshavis, when these two intentions occurred during two separate avoides. For instance, Shechita was Lishma, and the Zerika was Shlo In which case, even according to Rameh, it would be possible. Why? Because one thing is unrelated to the other. The Pesach needs to have four kosher avoides. So the Shechita was good, but not the Zerika. So in this case, even according to our mayor, it would be possible, and our Mishnah, indeed, would follow even our mayor. Or Dilma, or perhaps, the Mishnah is referring to the two separate avoidus. Therefore, even according to our mayor, who generally says, we have a contradiction in terms, we grab the first part, we ignore the second part, that would only apply if they both occurred within the same avoidus. So you have a contradiction. Which one do you follow? Yeah, you focus on the first and ignore the second. But if we're speaking about that Lishma took place in one Avoida, Shiloh Lishma in the other Avoida, Moida the Mifsal. Even Ramey would agree in this case, the carbon is possible. Because that Avoida, the second Avoida that was done Shiloh Lishma is possible. So which way is it? Again, the mission says Lishma and Shiloh Lishma is possible. Did they both occur during the same Avoida? And I've evidently found Rabbi Yaisi, who says take everything into account. Or are we speaking that Lishmai was during one Avoida, Shalai Lishmai during another Avoida? In which case, all agree, even Ramey would agree, that second Avoida was done Shalai Lishmai, and therefore the Pesach is possible. Amri said so they responded, Ahai, what are we speaking about? Meaning, this question of Rapapa, one Avoida, two Avoidas, in relation to which case in the Mishnah was this question proposed? Was in reference to Shaloi Lishmai Lishmai. Right, the Mishnah has several cases. 
the safe of the mission that is. We have Lushmoy Bishloy Lushmoy. And then we have Shiloy Lushmoy Ulushmoy. So what was Rapapa speaking about? Was he speaking about the case of Shiloy Lushmoy? So he began with a Machshava Hapri Selis. And then proceeded to Lushmoy. Well, in that case, there's no question that it's possible according to all Shittas. Why? Because he initiated with what type of Machshava? Machshava of Psal. Shalai Lushmoy. Says the Gemara, if that's the case, Bein Bavoyda Achas. Bein Bishtei Avoydas. Whether both these Machshavas occurred in the very same Avoyda together or in two separate Avoydas, it's irrelevant. It will be possible. Bein Lurab Meir, the Pesach has already become possible as a result of the first Machshava, the first Kavana, the first expression, which was Shalai Lishmoy. It's not only according to our mayor, would it be possible? Because he generally focuses on the first. Even according to our B.I.C., it would be possible. The whole Rabbi Yaisi, Nami. Even according to our B.I.C., Af Bigmar Dvar of Adam Nitvas, Islay. He holds that. You don't suffice with the first expression. You also take into account the Gemar Dvarav, the conclusion of his expression. But certainly in this case where he initiated with something that passes the carbon. Shalom Shmai was his first Amira. Of course, even according to Abiyasi would be puzzled. There's no question in that case. That everybody agrees it's possible. So that couldn't be the Shailah Rapapa. Because in this case of Shalom Shmai and the Shmai, whether they were both during the Shechita, or one by Shechita, one by Zerika, all agree that it's possible because the first machshava was psal. Says the Gemara, Ella alashmoi ushuloy lishmoi. Apparently, Rav Papa's question was proposed in connection with the other case in the Mishnah, lishmoi, and then shuloy lishmoi. Ah, in this case, since he initiated with a proper machshava, a proper intent, he began with lishmoi, but then transferred over to shuloy lishmoi. My, what is the Allah? Meaning, is this following all shittas? Because we're speaking that there were two avoidas here. The lishmoi was during the shechita. The shalal lishmoi during the zrika. And even our mayor agrees in that case that it's possible because the zrika was completely shalal lishmoi. Or perhaps we're speaking babay da'achas. They both occurred during the very same avoida. For instance, he was shaykhat lishmoi and shalal lishmoi. And according to our mayor, in this case, since it's an it's a inherent contradiction, because within the same avoida you can't have two machshavites, so we focus on the first, which is the Shmoy, and ignore the second part, and therefore the carbon be possible. It's only according to our BIC that we take everything into account, and the carbon would be possible. So according to our mayor, it would be kosher, because the initial kavanah was the Shmoy. But according to our BIC, we take everything into account, and therefore the carbon be possible on our mission is following our BIC. So which way is it? Again, is the mission speaking about both intentions taking place during the same avoida, or two separate avoidas? Toshma, let's bring a right. From the beginning of our Mishnah, Pesach Shashachli, Shalei Lishmoi, he did the Shechita Shalei Lishmoi, the Kibel, and the Kabbalah, the Halach, and the Halacha, the Zorak, and he did the Zrika, Shalei Lishmoi. Mishnah says it's possible. Hey Chidami, what are we speaking about? In the name of Kedektani, are we meant to take it literally that he did all four Avoid the Shalei Lishmoi? Lomali, Adamach Shav Lekul. Why do we need this? Why do we need that he has the Shalei Lishmoi Apply to all for avoid this to make it possible. It's not necessary. Mikamaisa isole. Once the first avoid, once the shchita was shlo lishmoi, it's already possible. Why does the Mishnah have to give us the whole long list of all for avoiders that were done shlo lishmoi? It's not needed. El lav hachiktani. Apparently, the Mishnah is saying like this. It's either or. Hapesach sheshachte shlo lishmoi. The shchita was done shlo lishmoi. Inami or or. Shachte l'shmoi, when the shechita was on the shmoi, but the other ones weren't. V'kibel v'halach v'zar shle l'shmoi. Inami or shachte v'kibel v'halach l'shmoi. First three were l'shmoi, properly done. V'zar shle l'shmoi, and the zrika was shle l'shmoi. So it's either or. You don't need all four. It's either or, like Rashi explained in the Mishnah. One of these four avoidas, dar shle l'shmoi, make the carbon puzzle. The havi l'shte avoidas. So evidently we're speaking that when the, when the Mishnah speaks about the uh, four avoidas here, it doesn't mean that all four were done with the same machshava. Rather, 
one avoider was done with one type of machshava, and the other avoider with a different machshava. They have a shtei avoiders. And the avoiders alternated. It wasn't the same thing throughout. Okay, so that's the ratio. We proved that. A must say. Now let's proceed to the second part of the mission. Lishmoi v'shaloi lishmoi. Right, that was the focus of our discussion until now. Under lishmoi, followed by shaloi lishmoi. Hey, Chidami, what are we speaking about? In neighbor b'shtei avoiders. If we're speaking once again that the lishma was on one avoid and the shlo lishma on the other avoid, high ratio. This is the very same halacha as the ratio. Why the repetition? We just discussed this case. Where one was lishma, one was shlo lishma, and it's possible. So why does the mishnah have to repeat itself? El olab avoid achas. Apparently, when the mishnah speaks about lishma, lishlo lishma, and the sefer, we're speaking that they both occur during the very same avoid. He did the shchita lishma and shlo lishma. And it's possible, even there, for Rabbi Yaisi, apparently following Rabbi Yaisi. The Amar, Af, Bigmar, Dvar of Adam Nitfas, that a person is held accountable for everything that he said. So it would seem that we have a Raya. Then indeed, the, the mission here is discussing two avoides. And we're following Rabbi Yaisi. Says the Marloi, Lo'ilam b'shtei avoides. Sorry, we have a Raya that the mission is speaking about the very same avoid. And evidently, we found Rabbi Yaisi, who says that even if we have a contradiction within the same context, within the same framework, you address everything. You have to take into account everything. But it's not found Rabbi Meir, who would say in this case, just pick the first thing that he said and ignore the, ignore the rest. Says Marloi, Lo'ilam b'shtei avoides. Perhaps we're speaking that Lishma was on one avoider, and Shiloh Lishma in another avoider. The question was, haven't we already spoken about that in the race? Why the repetition? Says the Gemara, there's a difference, and there's a chiddush in the sefer over the Reisha. Why? The Reisha, the Reisha is speaking the koy b'shchita, when he's involved in the shchita, ve'kam machasha b'shchita, and his machshava is focused on the shchita. Inami or koy b'zrika, when he's involved in the zrika, ve'kam machasha b'zrika, he thinks about the zrika. So he was thinking about that very avoider that he was involved in. So let's say, for example, during the shchita, he says, "I'm doing it the same pesach." During the zrika. He says, I'm doing the same shlamim. So each one focused on that activity that is involved in. That's the ratio. And it's possible. Seifa. However, in the Seifa, we have a, even a greater chiddush. We're speaking, of course, about two avoiders. But, listen to this. We're going to have a chiddush here that we haven't heard about yet. The koi b'shchita. The kachasha b'shrika. In the Seifa, it's speaking that he's involved in shchita. And he says to himself, I'm doing the Shechita for the sake of Pesach. That's number one. That's the Shmoy. Right, we're speaking Shmoy, Shlo, Shmoy. So the Shmoy was, the Shechita is for the sake of, of Pesach. But, while he's doing the Shechita, he had another Machshav. He expressed another intention. What was that? That I'm actually going to prepare now. Right, the Shechita prepares the Dam for the Zrika. I'm preparing the, the Dam for what type of Zrika? I'm going to be Zurich. I plan on doing this week L'shem Shlom. So everything happened during the Shechita. But it was focused on two different avoiders. It was applied to two different avoiders. It was L'shemoy, the Shechita for the sake of Pesach. But it was also a Shaloy L'shemoy element. I'm being Shechet to prepare the Dam for Zrika Shaloy L'shemoy. Let's see the Gemara. Seifa, the koi b'shchita v'kachasha b'zrika. He was doing the shchita. And he was already thinking about the zrika. The Omar, he said, Harin yashoychet is a Pesach. I'm doing the shchita on the Pesach. Lishmoi. That's number one. Number two, Lizrek dome shlo lishmoi. I intend on doing the zrika shlo lishmoi. And that works. That makes it possible. The kemash mulan. And the chiddush here is, the mission is informing us, the mechashven mavoid l'avoida. While you are in, during one avoida, why in the middle of the Shechita? You can have a Machshava in preparation for Zrika, Shalom Shmoy, and that will make it possible. Behind the Baidur Papa, in line with the Shailah Rapapa presented in Zvachim, who also spoke about this halacha. So, in conclusion, perhaps when the Mishnah speaks about Lishmoy and Shalom Lishmoy in the Sefer, we're speaking not that they both apply to the same avoidance. And that will get us involved in Machlegs Rameyer and Rabbi Yisab because you have a contradiction here. No. 
they're actually pertaining to two separate avoiders. As far as the timing, yeah. When did they both occur? During the Shechita. But as far as the application, they apply to two different avoiders. One to the Shechita, one to the Zrika. And in this case, even Rami would agree it's possible because one doesn't relate to the other. The Shechita is Lishma and the Zrika is Lishma. Or at least the preparation for the Zrika is Lishma. So two things are unrelated. They don't contradict each other and therefore according to all Shechitas, that Shechitas Lishma within the the, the Shechita, who passed the Pesach. Toshma, let's proceed to figure out, let's have some clarity, as far as our Papa's question. When the mission speaks about Lishmoy, Shloy Lishmoy, is it in the same Avoida, and only following Rabbi Yaisi, or is it even in two separate Avoidas, and following Rabbi Meir as well? Toshma, Oy Shloy Lishmoy, Lishmoy, that's the very next case in the Mishnah. He began with Shloy Lishmoy, and proceeded to Lishmoy. Mission says, puzzle. Hey, you tell me, what's the case? Inay me bishte avoidis. This is speaking about two separate avoidis. So the shkita was shloy lishmoy, and the zrika was lishmoy. And the mission tells us it's puzzle. What's the chiddish? Hashta lishmoy, vishloy lishmoy. Amr's puzzle. If you just finished finish telling me that when he begins with lishmoy and proceeds to loy lishmoy, in which case the initiation was properly done, it was, it was Lishmai to start off the Avoida. It's still possible because of the following Avoida which was Shaloi Lishmai. If that's the case, then Shaloi Lishmai or Lishmai Abaya? Is there a need to speak to tell me that Shaloi Lishmai and Lishmai would be possible? Of course it's possible. Once the carbon becomes possible because the first the first Avoida was with Psul. He began with Shaloi Lishmai, of course. It's going to remain possible. What would change things? So what's the point of the mission telling us that when it begins with Shloy and follows with Lishmoy, it's possible. Of course it's possible. El lab achas. Apparently the Chiddush here is because we're speaking that both occur during the same Avoid. And as Rashi explains, that explains, that, that, that clarifies the, the, the need why does the Mishnah have to say Lishmoy, 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 and then reverse it with Shaloy, Lishmoy, Lishmoy? The Mishnah begins Lishmoy, 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 even though they're both in the same Avoida. Because we follow Rabbi Yossi, who says you have to take everything into account. So that's the Chiddush of the first part of the Mishnah. And the Mishnah follows with the case in the reverse. Shaloy, Lishmoy, and then Lishmoy. What's the Chiddush here? Says Rashi, perhaps I would think that he changed his mind. Since they're both happening in the same avoid, perhaps he can undo his initial intent. True, it was Shloy Lishmoy, but then he followed with Lishmoy. Perhaps he can undercut it and invalidate the initiation. And the carbon Mikasher? The Chedashir is no. We have to take everything into account. And since he concluded, he initiated with Shloy Lishmoy, the carbon is possible. So again, a lava of it's apparently we're speaking that everything took place within the same avoida. Now, um the safe of avoida achas. Once we know, once we just concluded that the safe meaning, the case where was shaloy lishmoy and then lishmoy, they both occurred during their very same avoida, as we just proved. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a chedesh. Reisha nami of achas. Apparently, the reisha as well, lishmoy and shaloy lishmoy, is also speaking that they both occur during the same Avoidah, and the fact that the mission says it's possible is a riot or found a basis sheet. Because according to our mayor, if he began with Lishmoy and then ended with Shloy Lishmoy, we would ignore the Shloy Lishmoy. So this is a riot that was speaking about Avoidah Achas. says, Marloy, Loy Lomashte Avoidahs. Perhaps actually they're speaking about two separate Avoidahs. So first there was an Avoidah, Shloy Lishmoy, and then Lishmoy. The question is, self-understood. Because if, Lishmoy and Shaloi Lishmoy is no good. Although he began with Lishmoy. Certainly, if he began with Shaloi Lishmoy and then proceeded to Lishmoy, it would be possible. He right. Ubedinu, the Le'itzrachle. In reality, the Mishnah had no need to really inform us this halacha. I did a ton of Lishmoy, Lishloi Lishmoy. But on account of the fact that the Mishnah discussed the first case, Lishmoy and then Shaloi Lishmoy. So on account of that, the Mishnah simply reversed the case as well. 
although it wasn't needed, but just to match up the wording. Tananami, the Mishnah proceeded as well with the case of Shaloi Lishmai, Ulishmai. So at this point, once again, we have no conclusion whether we're speaking that both Lishmai and Shaloi Lishmai occurred within the same Avoidah or two separate Avoidahs. Tashma, let's bring it right. Shechata Shaloi Lishmai. This is the Mishnah which we're going to have on the Afsamach Aleph, which the Gemara here refers to as the Seifa of our Mishnah that we just learned. The Mishnah says, Shechata Shaloi Lishmai. He did the Shechita on the Pesach with the intent that it's going to be fed to people who can't, are not really able to eat the carbon Pesach. Rashi says, for instance, a zokein, a choyle, who cannot eat a kezayis. So that was one, one example. He did the Shechita or for the sake of people who did not count themselves, did not include themselves in the Chabura, in the group, Karm Pesach is meant to be eaten only for its, for the people, the members of the Chabura. So during the Shechita, he had a machshav. He intended on doing it for the sake of Shalai Lemnuyev. Or La Reilim, people that hadn't had a bris mila. Or the Tzmeim, Pesach. The Karm Pesach is Pesach. Now, Hochab Shita Bavaydachas. Certainly, we're speaking... It was one machshava during one avoid, of course. We're speaking only about one avoid, one shchit. Um with the seifa avoid achas. Now let's draw a parallel, just as this part of the Mishnah speaking that everything occurred within the same avoid. Let's assume that the Rasha as well, our Mishnah, discussing lishmoi shloi lishmoi, is where both occur during the same avoid. So you have a conclusion to our question. Says more, me the area. Can you have a riot from there? How can you compare? How could Isa? How could Isa? Each Mishnah has its own context. The Mishnah there is speaking, of course, that it happened within the context of one avoid. But our Mishnah, perhaps, is speaking where the Lishmoi was in one avoid, and the Lishmoi was in a different avoid. You have no riot to compare one to the other. Seifa Bavoid Achas. The Seifa certainly speaking when it all happened within the same avoid. Reisha, however, the first part, can be either they both occurred in the same avoid, or the machshav has occurred each one in a separate avoid. Toshma, let's bring a raya. The mission there continues. Let's see, he went ahead and did the shechita. First thinking that I'm doing it for the people who are eligible to eat the carbon. And then proceeded with another improper expression. It's also for people who are not meant to eat it, who can't eat a kazais. Mishnah says, what's the halacha? Kasha. Why is it kasha? Because as long as there are some eligible eaters there, that's okay. Because the shechita is needed even for one person. Because you can't have a kazais without shechita. So since he included some eligible people, that's okay. Now we're speaking that everything happened during the shechita. But, what do you mean when he said, Hey, what are we speaking? That, although it happened during the Shechita, but it applied to a different Avoidah as well. Meaning, that he did the Shechita, I'm shechting for the sake of its Oichlam, for the eaters. But when he said, what he meant to say is, during the Shechita now, I'm having a machshava that I'm preparing the dam for the Zerika, which will take place with a machshava of Shloi Lo'echlav. Similar to what we had before regarding Lishmai Shloi Lishmai, here we're speaking about Lo'echlav and Shloi Lo'echlav. Hey, Yechidam, Inei Mubeshtei Avoides, that it was meant to apply to two separate Avoides. Again, it's happening during the Shechita. And he's saying, this Shechita is for the sake of the Oichlam. But I'm preparing, right now, preparing the dam for the zrika, which will happen shloi lo'ichlav. And the Mishnah says it's kosher in this case. V'taima, let's make a dik. The reason why it's kosher, v'taima, the kosher b'zrika. That's because he had a machshava that applies to the zrika, and there, this whole concept of oichlam doesn't apply. It doesn't negate the shechita. The machshava is oichlam b'zrika. It doesn't negate the zrika, I mean. Because the machshava of eaters doesn't apply to zrika. Shechita prepares the food for achila. But zrika has nothing to do with food preparation. 
Therefore, even though he had this machshav, look, I'm preparing the dam now for the zrika, shloi lo echlo, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't do any harm. That's why it's good. Apparently, ho babay da'achas. But if both aspects of his machshav would have applied to the avay da'achas, to the shechit that he's involved in, he's being shechit with both things in mind. Lo echlov and shloi lo echlov. Ho babay da'achas. Kigoyin b'shechita. For instance, during the shechita, the mahan yibay. Machshavas Eichlin, where during Shechita, Machshavas Eichlin does play a role, does have effect on the kashers of the Shechita, then we say that even in this case, when he had both things in mind, Lo Eichlov and Shlo Eichlov, but since they both took place within the same context of the Avodah Sa Shechita, Apostle, is that true? Can you make such a dick and draw such a conclusion? Well, Kaimlan, but we know for, for a fact that it's not so. Makes us echem like pasla. In this case, where only part of the people he had in mind were ineligible eaters, that's okay. That doesn't harm the carbon, because as we explained, Rashi brings the lashon: "If shall a kazayis possibly shchita, you can't have a kazayis without shchita." Meaning, even if there's one person that's going to eat it properly, that's okay because the shchita is for that person. You can't have a kazai, so that's shechita. That's enough to be machshed the shechita. So even if he mixed in some ineligible eaters, people who can't have a kazai, as long as there's some mixas oichel, there's some eligible eaters, that's okay. So even if they both would have applied strictly to the shechita, I'm being shechet lo oichel, and shloi lo oichel, will be kasha. So you can't say that the Mishnah, specifically speaking, because it was two avoidists, the lo eichlov apply to the shechita, and shlo eichlov to the zrika, which would imply that if they would both apply to the shechita, would be possible. That's not so. El alav avodachas. Apparently, even if they both would have applied to the same avoda, it's still kasha. Okay, so once we've arrived at that clarity, umid the seifa avodachas. Since the seifa speaking even avodachas, reisha nami avodachas. Apparently, the reisha as well. Let's assume is also speaking. Lishmoi shlo lishmoi both apply to the same avoda. Let's assume the context of the Rish and the Seifa are similar, similar in nature. That's more, not necessarily. Meet the area. You can't bring a riot from there. Hakadisa, Valkadisa. Each one is speaking about its own context. Seifa Vavida Achas. Perhaps a Seifa speaking that happened in the same Avoida, but Varesha, not necessarily. Oi Vavida Achas, Avoidas. It could be that they both happened in the same Avoida, in which case it could only follow a BAC. Right, because it was Lishmoy and Shloy which are contradictory. And only Rabbi Yesi would say, well, everything has to be accounted for. And since there was a Shloy Lishmoy element there, it's possible. But according to Rabbi it would be kosher because Tfois Lashmishim, that's one option. So perhaps Lishmoy wasn't one Avaida, Shloy Lishmoy was another Avaida. Since that second Avaida was completely Shloy Lishmoy, it's possible even according to Rabbi So in summary, we have no conclusion regarding our Shire. We wanted to know. When the Mishnah, our Mishnah, the Rish, says, Lishma, Shlo, Lishma, it's possible. Are we speaking that they both apply to the same Avoida? It's only following one Shita or Biesi? Or Shte Avoidais? And going according to even Rameh. Iboilu, the Bnei HaYeshiva, proposed another, another Shail. We know that a Karim Pesach needs to be done Lishma. But that only applies when it was Bizmame, on Arab Pesach, when it's meant to be brought. Lishma is good, Shlo, Lishma is no good. However, if it's Shiloh Lizmani, out of its time, if it's a week before Pesach, the law is that at that point, a Pesach can turn into a Shlom, provided that it was processed Shiloh Lizmani. For instance, he's thinking, this is going to be a Shlom. But if he's doing it a week before Pesach, Lizmani, Lizmani, Pesach, then, <laughs> in this case, it's a paradox, Lizmani will make it possible, because it's not meant to be a Pesach. It says to him, what about the following case? He took the Pesach and he shechted it throughout the rest of the year, a week before Pesach. Lishmoy, he begins Lishmoy, Lishem Pesach, which is inappropriate. Ushaloy Lishmoy, and follows with Shaloy Lishmoy, which is actually good. Ma, what is Allah here? Mi Asi Shaloy Lishmoy. Shall we say the second Machshava was Shaloy Lishmoy, which, which actually makes the carbon kosher in this case. Can that come along umapikle midelishmoy 
and undo, undercut the first machshava, which was the shmoy, which is detrimental. Can the second machshava fix it up? U machshali? I mean, machshali the carbon? Oiloy, or perhaps not. Once he began with lishmoy, lishem pesach, which is an inappropriate machshava because it's out of balance, it's a week before pesach. It's too late. You can remedy it by adding shaloy lishmoy. And Tosis points out that even in the court of mayor, this halacha will apply. Even our mayor holds that we follow the first expression, but perhaps here it's different because as Tosis explains, the Gemara soon will elaborate on this, the lishmoy which makes things puzzle here is something unique, very different than the standard. Because usually lishmoy is something good, is a positive factor. Here the lishmoy is detrimental. So this element of detriment is something which is not so severe. It's not so universal. It's just a local halacha. Perhaps it doesn't carry the same weight. And you could undo it. You could override it by following through with another machshava of Shalol Lishmoy, which makes things kosher. That's the Gemara's Shaila. Can that second machshava undo the first, make it kosher or no? Once he's expressed Lishmoy, which makes it possible in this case, it's too late. Kiyosu Rav Dimi, when Rav Dimi came from Eretz Yisrael, Amar, Amrita Lishmaito Kameda Rav Yirmiya. I presented my presentation. He wanted to say that it's going to be possible in this case. I presented it to Rabbi Yirmi as follows. Just like Lishma, Bismani, on Arab Pesach, is a reason to make it kosher. And Shaloy Lishmoy is actually a reason to make something kosher when the Pesach is being processed, Shaloy Bismani. So we have, on the one hand of the scale, we have Lishmoy Bismani makes things kosher. And Shaloy Bismani, the Shaloy Lishmoy makes it kosher. Let's compare the two things. Ma Lishmoy, Hamachshir Bismani. So just as the Lishmoy, which makes it kosher when it takes place, Bismani. It can't. Undo the Shaloy Lishmoy. Let's say he began with Shaloy Lishmoy, which makes it possible. It's bismani. And it's lishmoy. He began with shloy lishmoy. That makes it possible. But then he follows with lishmoy. What happens now? He can't undo it. He can't remedy it retroactively because he began with shloy lishmoy. So just as over there, the positive element of lishmoy, mal lishmoy la machamachshirut bismani ein moitzir midei shloy lishmoy can't undo the shloy lishmoy which preceded it. Av shloy lishmoy hamachshirut shloy bismani. Likewise, the shloy lishmoy which actually brings kashras when it's shaloy bismani, it's a positive element, it also does not have the power to undo the machshavas psul, which preceded it. So bottom line is that a machshava which is kasher can't undo the machshava which makes psul. Let's compare the two things. So this was Rav Dimi presenting to Rabbi Yirmi. So regarding our question, he took the Pesach a week before Yom Tov. Did the Shechita Lishmoy, in this case Lishmoy is no good, and then followed with Shiloh Lishmoy, it's too late. V'amrli, and he responded to me, you can't compare. Because here the Machsheves Psol, which happens to be Lishmoy, is something unique. It's not something which really carries much weight. It doesn't apply elsewhere. Perhaps that can be easily overturned. V'amrli, loy, im amris, b'shiloh Lishmoy. If this applies to Shiloh Lishmoy, where if he did a Shiloh Lishmoy, which is a Machshav psul, you can't undo that. Well, that's because Shiloh Lishmoy is a universal psul. It carries lots of weight. Shekein Noi Buchlas It's something which applies to all Kabbalists. Shiloh Lishmoy is a reason to ruin things. That can't be undone. It can't be fixed up. Ta'ima be Lishmoy. But how could you compare it to Lishmoy? In our case, which is a Machshav psul. Shekein Eina Noi Buchlas It doesn't apply elsewhere. El of Pesach Bavad. It's unique to Pesach, so perhaps it doesn't carry so much weight. And even though he began with Lishmoy, which makes it possible, again, we're speaking a week before Pesach, Lishmoy makes it possible. That Lishmoy, that Psal is a weak Psal and can be overturned by following with Shiloh Lishmoy. It will overturn and remedy the karma. My Havailah, so what was the conclusion on this child? Omarov. He's going to say like this. Yeah, the Machshavah's Psal in this case is not so severe. And can be overturned. Amarava Pesach Sheshchatay B'Shari Moisachana. 
a Pesach that was shechted outside of these man, a week before Pesach, Lishmoy v'shlo Lishmoy. He began with Lishmoy and followed Lishlo Lishmoy. What's Allah? Kosher. Because the Shlo Lishmoy, which is in this case a Machshavis Kashrus, will fix up the carbon. And he proved it. I'll prove this to you. The Hastam Lishmoy Koy. We know that a carbon Pesach is presumed to be designated, slated for the Shmoy. It's Stam Lishmoy. So it already has that inherent Lishma element in it. It's meant to be carved Lishmai. I feel like, and even so, he can go ahead and undo that. Ki shachat le, shaloi Lishmai, kasha. Even so, he goes ahead and takes this carbon Pesach, a week before Pesach, and does it shaloi Lishmai. What's Allah? It's kasha. Despite the fact that this behemoth, this carbon, already contain that element of Lishmai. It's meant Lishmai. It's stumble Lishmai. It's slated for Lishmai. You can undo that by saying Shiloh Lishmai. So what do we see? That Shiloh Lishmai has the ability to undo the Lishmai. And since it's a week before Pesach, and Shiloh Lishmai is a Machshava that's Machshar, it's going to be Machshar the Karma. Alma, apparently you see from here, Asi Lishmai, Shiloh Lishmai, that the Machshav Shloh in this case, which is a positive element, so week before Pesach, Shloh Lishmai makes it kosher. That comes along, Umapik Lei Midei Lishmai, and will undo the Lishmai element within the carbon. So we see that Shloh Lishmai is really stronger than Lishmai because, as we explained earlier, perhaps because Lishmai is, it doesn't carry so much weight here. The Lishmai that makes things puzzle is something unique. And therefore the Shloh Lishmai can undo it. And make it kosher. So just as we find, again, we find that a carbon, although it has a stumble lishmai, it's meant to be lishmai, you can undo that. You can undo the nature of the carbon by saying shaloi lishmai. Ki shoch and nami lishmai. Ori shaloi lishmai. Likewise, in our case, when he did the shechita a week before Pesach, first expressing lishmai, and then shaloi lishmai, also shaloi lishmai, u mapik lo, u mapik le, midi lishmai. This shaloi lishmai will undo the lishmai and it will make the Carbon kosher will be considered a shlaman. How can you compare the two things? You're saying, well, just like when it's stumble lishma, you can undo it by saying shle lishmai. Likewise, when he expressed lishma, he can immediately undo it by saying shle lishmai. How can you compare the two things? Dumashani, perhaps there's a big difference. Hecha de Omar, a difference between when he said something, and he expressed the Lishmai. Perhaps that can't be undone. The difference between that, Mechad Layomar, and a case where he didn't say. Sure, a, a, a carbon Pesach is Stama Lishmai. It's meant to be Lishmai. But he never said Lishmai. It's implicit. That could be undone. How could you compare, how could you apply that concept to our case, where he said Lishmai, which makes it possible? Who says he can undo it? And I'll prove it to you. I'll prove to you there's a difference between an implicit status and an expressed intention from a different Allah. The holo eichlav v'shlo of kasher. We learned this earlier. He does a shechita with both intentions. He says, I'm doing it for the people who have the ability to eat and also for ones who don't have the ability. Kasher. We say it's fine. The kol eichlav v'shachet le shlo eichlav v'chudei pasal. However, he takes a carbon pesach. And does the shechita strictly shloi lo echlav? Of course, it's possible. Why is it possible? Vamai, why? Hastam lo echlav koi. The stam of this carbon is for who? For the echlav. So it already has that element embedded within it. Lo echlav. So now when he says, I'm shechting it, shloi lo echlav. We should regard it as though it has both elements there. Lo echlav, which is the natural designation of the carbon and shloi lechlav, which is expressed. And we know that what happens when there's shloi lechlav and shloi lechlav together, it's kosher. So just as if he said shloi lechlav and shloi lechlav, it's kosher. In this case as well. Since it's stom shloi and he added on top of that shloi lechlav, it should be regarded as one and the same Allah and it should be kosher. Oh, Ella, apparently you see from here, shani, there's a big difference. Shani echad amar. 
There's a big difference between when he says it and he expressed it. If he says love and then love, that's fine because he expressed love. So we have both elements explicitly expressed. Whereas if he just took a plain carbon Pesach, although it's slated love, but he never spoke about it, and all he said was Shleilachlov, Mechad Loyomar, from a case where he didn't say Loyachlov, all he said was Shleilachlov, that Shleilachlov carries power, has greater weight than the stone of the carbon. All he said was Shleilachlov. The Shechita has a dinner Shleilachlov and it's possible. Hachi Nami, see here as well when it comes to the carbon Pesach, a week before Pesach, and we're speaking that he did the Shechita, Lushmoy and Shleil Lushmoy. Here too, let's differentiate. Hachanami, Shani, there's a big difference. Hechad Amar. The difference between a case where he said the Lishmoy and followed it with Shalai Lishmoy, perhaps that can't be undone. Mechad Lai Amar, from a case where he didn't say. We have just a carbon which is meant to be Lishmoy, but he didn't say it, he didn't verbalize it. So yeah, over there, the Shalai Lishmoy can be mafkia, can undo from the designation of the carbon. Since he didn't say Lushmoy, all he said was Lushmoy, the carbon is kosher. But you can't compare it to our case where he said Lushmoy and then followed the Lushmoy. Who says that the second expression can undo the first? Omar Lay. So Rava responded. No, not necessarily. You can't compare our case to that case. First I'll say it outside for clarity. Yeah, in the case of Machshavas Eichlin, we find the difference between something which is just implicit, which can easily be overwritten, and something which was expressed, which cannot necessarily be overwritten. You know why? Because over there, it's not an absolute. The fact that a carbon is meant, is designated for the Eichlin, for these specific people, it's not absolute. Perhaps they're here today, they're gone tomorrow. They'll back out and other people will take over. So since it's not an absolute designation, that can be undone easily. And therefore, since it's only implicit, it can be, over, it can be overridden and undone. But when it's expressed, it carries more weight. That's over there by the Machshavas Eichlan. But when it comes to Lashma, that's absolute. A Korban Pesach is meant to be processed Lashma. That's it. Bottom line. There's no ifs or buts. It's an absolute designation. So perhaps over here, there's no difference between the, the implicit, the stomma, which is very clear and absolute, and the, the expressed intent of Lishma. Perhaps you shouldn't differentiate between one or the other. And since we find that when you have a Karim Pesach, which is stomach Lishma, which is meant to be Lishma, you still have the power to override that. Take this carbon a week before Pesach, which is meant to be Lishma. And say, no, it's Shalai Lishma. I'm doing the Shkita Shalai Lishma. And that makes it kasha. You can override Lishma. Likewise, even if you express the Lishma, which on its own would make it a puzzle. But once you've added Shalai Lishma, that has the power to undo and override and remedy the Avoid. Amalei, so, Rav responded, me, the area, how can you bring a riot from over there, from Lo'eichlov to Al Kaysa Lishma? Bishlema Hassam, over there, yeah. It makes sense. Until he actually uproots the Lishma during the Shechita, he expresses an intention otherwise, other than the stomach. It's only meant, it's slated for Lishma. And therefore, since we find that you can undo that Lishma status, that Stoma Lishma status. He takes his Karim Pesach a week before Pesach and does the Shechitah Shlai Lishma, it's kosher. He can undo the Lishma element. Likewise, even if he expressed it, if he said Lishma, he can undo that immediately by saying Shlai Lishma. There's no difference between one or the other. Elohach, but over here by, by Eichlin, it's a weak element. This element of Eichlin, this Stoma, is not absolute. Is it slated for these eaters? Perhaps these fellows will back out. And other people will come along. And become members of this carbon. 
which is perfectly legal. This non. Nimnin, people can join the, the group of the current Pesach, likewise, the current members can actually pull out from the group until the Shechita of the Pesach takes place. So what do we see here? That the Eichlon of the current Pesach is something inconclusive. It's something still pending until the Shechita. Therefore, says the Gemara, pertaining to the Eichlon element, the fact that it's designated for these eaters, that, since it's something that's still pending, it depends if it's implicit or expressed. If it's only stoma, the fact that the carbon is designated for these eaters, since that's not something conclusive, that's something that really, really carries much weight, something that can change at any moment, therefore it can be undone easily. Therefore, if he takes a carbon Pesach, despite the fact that it was stoma lo ichlov, he takes it and he does a shchita shloi lo ichlov, that machshav, that expression of shloi lo will undo the lo designation and makes it possible. Whereas if he expressed it, he did the shchita lo oichlov, so he verbalized it and then added shloi lo oichlov, shloi lo oichlov won't, and won't undo it because he expressed it. Expression, that carries more weight. So by lo oichlov we see a difference between implicit and expressed. But when it comes to our case of the shmoy, we all know that a carbon Pesach is meant to be brought the shmoy. It's absolute. It's etched in stone. No two ways about it. It's not pending. That's a very strong element. The Lushmoy element. The Stama Lushmoy. Now, since we find that even over there, you can easily undo it. If he takes his Pesach a week before Yom Tov, it's Stama Lushmoy, which is absolute. And he shakes it Shiloh Lushmoy, he makes it kosher. Because the Shiloh Lushmoy can undo the Lushmoy. Likewise, says the Gemara, if he took the carbon, did the Shechita Lushmoy, and then Shloi Lishmai, although there was a Lishmai element there, he can undo it easily with the Shloi Lishmai, which makes it kosher. You can compare the two things. There's no difference between implicit and expressed when it comes to Lishmai, since it's an absolute factor. And just as you can undo the Stama Lishmai by doing it Shloi Lishmai, which makes it kosher, he can undo the, even the expressed intention of Lishmai. Therefore, says more perhaps in our case, where he has the carbon a week before Pesach. And he did the Shechit al-Lishmoy, and then followed by saying Shlai Lishmoy, the Shlai Lishmoy can override Lishmoy and make it Kash. So let's just run over the steps of the Gemara for clarity. We began with the Shaila. If we have a carbon Pesach a week before Pesach, we're over there. Lishmoy is actually to his detriment. If he thinks Pesach, it makes it possible. Only Shlai Lishmoy will make it Kash. And this fellow did the Shechit with both intentions. Lishmoy and Shlai Lishmoy. What is Allah? Shall we say that Shlai Lishmoy can undo the Lishmoy and make it Kash or not? So the Gemara said that perhaps just as all over we know that a machshava can't undo the previous machshava. Here as well it can't do that. It can't be machshavah. Or perhaps the lishma which makes it possible here is something which is not universal. It's not unique to this case. It never doesn't carry so much weight and can be easily over, overridden. And Rava tells us yeah, it can be overridden. Just as we find that the stoma can be overridden. We have the Pesach, which is intended for Lishmoy. And he takes it and does the Shlai Lishmoy. It makes it kosher. We're speaking, of course, a week before Pesach, which is meant to be Shlai Lishmoy. Likewise, even if he expressed Lishmoy, but then followed with Shlai Lishmoy, that will undo it and make it kosher. And the one concluded, because unlike the Lo'ichla, which is not absolute, something pending, this is something absolute. And if we find that the absolute designation of Lishmoy can be easily overridden and undone, Likewise, even the express Lishmoy can be overridden by Shlai Lishmoy, and perhaps this carbon will be kosh. Let's make a quick Chazara to this daf. We had a Mishnah which told us that a carbon Pesach needs to be processed completely Lishmoy. So if any of the four avoidance were Shlai Lishmoy, the Pesach will be possible. We had several cases in the Mishnah. For example, we had a case where it was Lishmoy and Shlai Lishmoy. Mishnah says it's possible. But Papa says, well, what are we speaking? They both happen within the same avoidah. And we're following Rabbi Yaisi, who holds that you have to take everything that he said into account. And since there's an element of Shlai Lishmoy, it's possible. Or speaking that the Lishmoy was in one avoidah, Shlai Lishmoy was in a different avoidah. And we're following even Rabbi Meir, who generally says when we have a contradiction, we ignore the second part, we pick only the first part. But in this case, since the Lishmoy was in the Shechita, the Shlai Lishmoy was in the Zrika, they're both 
two separate avaydas, all related to each other, even Rameh would agree, since it's Rika, or independently Shlele Shema, it's possible. So which way is it? Mori attempted to bring several rays to clarify the context of the Mishnah, and we did not really end up with a conclusion. The Gemara concluded with the case of Ikarim Pesach, a week before Yantav. He wants to turn into a Shlom. He did the Shechitah Lishmai, which makes it possible, then followed with Shalei Lishmai, which will make it kosher, which will turn into a Shlom. What is that Allah? And the Gemara concluded, the name of Rava, that his Karban will be kosher. Be well, that's Lacha Rava.